It seems that especially in these times, we need to know how we can determine who to believe and who not to believe. It is fairly useless to, uh, to try to determine our own biases as we come to an issue. We swim in our biases. We breathe our biases. We eat and sleep our biases. They're with us always, and they're very difficult. Self-knowledge is hard. Um, and, and so that would be uh, one of the most difficult ways to recognize, uh, to recognize what we are tending to believe in the first place. Uh, and th there, it could be, uh, uh, it could be other people are right and I'm wrong. It could be you're right and other people are wrong. And there's a very good possibility to, uh, to some extent that we are all wrong to some extent. Uh, in any position that we take since uh, omniscience is difficult to attain. There are, there are a lot of different ways uh, to determine uh, when a person is scamming us. Goodness, um, when there is name-calling and blaming and building a straw man, as they say. In other words, uh, presenting a caricature of what your opponent believes and then attacking that, even though no one has said that. We see that often when um, uh, a Fox News commentator will come on with his hair on fire and say, and those liberals are coming to take your guns away. Whee! Be scared, be fearful. Um, there is no politician anywhere who, is, uh, who has adopted a stance of coming to take your gun, coming to your house and taking your guns away. That is an NRA. Uh, and uh, uh, conservative fear-mongering, but uh, that is a straw man uh, making your opponent's viewpoint uh, and, and misrepresenting that viewpoint and then attacking the straw man, so to speak. You've built a straw man and then you've attacked that. When, um, when there is a difficult problem this country is facing, uh, and it, it, uh, it's, it's a problem that has been around, it's been chronic for a long time, and you hear someone come up with a fast, cheap, simple, easy solution uh, to it, then uh, uh, that solution is, is very suspect, extremely suspect. I had a friend who says, well, I know the solution to teenage pregnancy. It's an aspirin pill. And of course, somebody would say, an aspirin pill? He'd say, yeah, have all the young ladies hold an aspirin pill between their knees and we've taken care of teen pregnancy. So that's a fast, cheap, simple, easy solution that uh, is wrong uh, and would never work. There's, um, when, when the solutions, when the ideas being offered uh, build confusion, build division, uh, are based on constantly based on fear and blame for other people for minorities or other people groups. Um, all these cause the uh, cause the solution being offered uh, to be to be wrong. But there are two. There are two that I think we can always apply in every situation. And the first is competence. Is the person sharing the viewpoint competent in the field uh, on which he is holding forth? Uh, in my opinion, uh, Anthony Fauci does has been working as an, uh, as they call it, an epidemiologist, a person uh, studying and finding solutions to infectious diseases for decades and decades uh, and has done that work uh, without, uh, shoot, without scandal, without uh, selflessly, has never accumulated a fortune to himself uh, by doing so. Uh, he, is, he is competent and his opinions are... To, uh, shoot, uh, look, at, look at the person who is sharing what's going on. 
is that person, if he's sharing medical information, is he a doctor? Uh, or is the person telling you, my arm's magnetized? Uh, are they a physician uh, who's, who's talking about that? Do they have the background and competence to, uh, to be an expert in the field uh, in which they are sharing the information? So that would be the first thing, competence. The second uh, is just as important, and that is, does the person have a conflict of interest? Uh, uh, it's also a, called a bias. Does that person have a bias? Um, in my opinion, again, uh, that's the only opinion, opinion I have, um, Donald Trump is saying, hey, I should be president. There were millions of votes cast for me. They've all been lost. Italy, go over there. Well, anyway, does he have a conflict of interest? Well, if he's able to press his point home, he will become president again. That will give him power. That will give him money. That will give him, in my opinion, one of the most important things, freedom from indictment and prosecution. Uh, it will assure Putin's support for him because he will have that power to use on Putin's behalf. Uh, and that is extremely important for Russian bots uh, and also Saudi uh, uh, misinformation and bots to be used on his behalf. Yes, there is a loud and obvious conflict of interest. Do uh, Republican politicians have a conflict of interest uh, in supporting what's called the big lie? Yes, absolutely. They believe that if they do not support the big lie, that they will be primaried. Well, they have good reason to believe that. And if they're primaried, they believe that their chances of winning the general election have been greatly reduced because the Trump base will not be energized on their behalf. They have good reason to believe that. Uh, so yes, there is an extreme conflict of interest. People do not believe what they believe based on the evidence. We have to be aware that very often people, uh, is, is, uh, goodness, very often people believe what they believe because they feel it is in their best interest to believe that thing. Um, I've often said, if a person believes that a given, uh, that uh, averring a given position will lead to the loss of their job, you can guarantee that they will never come to that position for themselves because they feel that that uh, will be against their best interest. Uh, we sometimes think that, oh, well, everybody believes what they believe based on looking at the facts and looking at the evidence. No, they don't. Um, they might believe what they believe because they think they're losing uh, cultural power uh, within the country. And uh, as, as they see other people begin to advance, they may think that means, oh, by necessity, that means I'm going to go backwards. Um, and therefore, they will believe what they believe based on that. <laughs>